since 110 years. The group started its operations in 1903 and the full generation of this company. I was very impressed by you of the work that you are doing. The world remembers only those who give. Those who have taken away from the world are never remembered. It's only part of history books, that's all. But they are not remembered. Cotton and textiles have always been given. How? Let's see. Can we start with the presentation? Yes. India and textiles, very, very much connected as you can see. Textile plays a major role in the Indian economy, it contributes 14% to industrial production, 4% to GDP. Over 45 million people, industry is one of the largest sources of employment after agriculture. So vital for this country. Textile industry right now, where it stands, 150 billion USD. Out of that, 110 is domestic, 40 billion is export, and the government has targeted 350 billion by 2025. So, look at the potential. The government is hopeful, the industry is hopeful that will grow 100% in the next seven years. What is the government doing about it? opened up 100% FDI. Indian government has come up with a number of export promotion policies for the textile sector. 100% FDI have been opened in the automatic focus of the government again make in India. It's an employment sector. Very high employment in textiles. 
So that has also made it the focus of the government and uh, we have seen spot of investment in the last five years. The industry has contracted FDI for nearly 3 billion in the years between 2000 and 2017. But my friends, this figure will be invested in India in the next five years. That is the expectation of the textile ministry. <coughs> Why India? What is there in India that stands apart as far as cotton and textiles is concerned? Number one producer of cotton in the world, that is what India is. Number two exporter in the world of the US. Consumption wise, it is the number two consumer in the world after China. All the other fibers, polyester, wool, viscose, hemp, flax, all fibers are available in India in abundance. So availability of raw material is huge. And uh, India in the world textile sector stands at number two. Uh, in Chairman just mentioned at five percent we stand at number two after China. So advantages in